What's up guys? So let's get into some rifle basics. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with shooting rifles or whatnot, there's many terms, positions, all sorts of fun stuff to come with it. Keep it low ready, up. Some of these drills will help you so much better as far as trigger discipline goes. Preventing negligent discharges. <laughs> moving with a firearm. Things along that nature. As always, guys, we always check our weapons, follow the basic four universal firearm principles. Also, we do not use live rounds unless we're at the range in a controlled safe area. This whole entire video series is for educational or entertainment purposes only. Now that that's all handled and taken care of, let's get to the good stuff. All right, so we're at the range. Before we go live and start doing the drills, let's just get broken in and get comfortable shooting while kneeling. Uh, don't forget to put that elbow down on top of that knee. It helps you stabilize and prevent you from chicken winging. On top of that, feel free to always make a follow-up shot if you're not sure about your target. All right, guys. And so here's the drill. Begin and collapse low ready. As you're moving, transition to low ready position. And as you kneel, go to ready up. As you're standing up, go to low ready and back to collapse low ready. This drill, you do the exact same. You go from collapse low ready to low ready as you walk. As you kneel, you go to ready up, elbow on your knee, except you tuck your back leg behind you. And after you fire, repeat and do the drill over. The sitting while shooting technique is like, let's say that you are behind cover, but all it is is sagebrush. The shooting positions provide support using your elbows and your knees, a natural break while you're sitting down. All right, guys. So in this case, we'll cover the shooting positions while seated. Let's get to it. The first seated position we're going to cover, this position is uncrossed, or as I like to call it, the camel toe. Pop it low ready as you're getting down. Sit. And you can brace. Put your elbow here, this one here. So ready, up. All right, guys, so in this case, we'll cover the shooting positions while seated. Let's get to it. Sit down method. Some like to sit like this, elbows here, elbow there. Act as a good stand if you don't have any room. What's up, guys? So today we're going to cover shoot, shooting from prone position. For those of you who are not familiar with the terms, shooting while you're lying down. We'll cover some basics and different methods for using it. Uh, some tips and some things to avoid as well. As always, we check all of our firearms. We do not use live ammunition unless we are at the range in a safe controlled area. And we always follow the four basic safety rules. You got it, let's get to it. So the first thing about lying prone, most people think is, oh man, I'm not a sniper, I'm not gonna be in combat. However, you can also use it as a hunting technique as well. I mean, antelope, they're out in a lot of the time in the plains where you have no, not really a whole lot of cover. Uh, lying prone, if you have nothing to support your firearm on, you can also use the earth. It's always going to be steady. Well, we'll get down to the basics. Um, basic form on being in the prone position firing. This technique, this version, will be if you do not have a bipod or, you know, some sort of shooting rest to put your rifle on. So when shooting in the prone position, you want to have your legs spread apart. This creates stable anchor. It'll prevent loss of position due to recoil or movement. Could be a windy day, you know, something along that line. Your feet should be relaxed. 
you want to have them kind of just more so flat, flat as you can possibly get. The whole point of being prone is so there's no silhouette, so you're not, you know, in any type of visibility to minimize as much as possible. The easiest metric to go by, like almost every other shooting position, stance, etc., you want to have your legs a little bit wider than your shoulders. Now, one of the most important aspects to, to think about when you're practicing, you know, being in the prone position, your breathing technique. Now, one of the most important aspects to, to think about while you're practicing, you know, being in the prone position, your breathing techniques. Practicing your breathing techniques is important regardless of what position you're in, either standing, kneeling, or down and prone. You have a natural pause of two to three seconds that occurs between each respiratory cycle. The pause can be extended up to 10 seconds. During this pause, breathing muscles are relaxed and incite settle to their natural point of breathing. You want to minimize your movement. You must Fire your shots during the natural respiratory pause. This is a simple breathing exercise that will help you out with your breathing when you're shooting, especially in the prone position. Do a large inhale, and then exhale. As the oxygen is completely expelled out of your lungs, your breathing cycle will naturally pause. At this point is when you hold your breath, your muscles are relaxed, pull the trigger, shoot. When shooting in the prone position, you're on the ground. Uh, you have either a, a bipod or, you know, a bag, bag rest or whatnot, or type of wood, or whatever the case may be, or wherever the circumstances you are. However, if you're in a very flat area where there's nothing like that to support your rifle, there's always one thing that's always going to be there, and that's the ground. Uh, we'll go over how to properly hold it and move from there. All right, let's get to it. Uh, so basically, if you're in the prone position, all right, so you want to secure your buttstock right into your shoulder. I like to use my magazine. You can use that to balance being your discipline. Since I don't have a vertical foregrip, we'll just grab the grip here and boost it up with our... Just basically turning your arms into your own bipod built in. Do your breathing. The grip here. Inhale. Boost. Exhale. And as soon as all oxygen's exhaled out of your lungs, hold your breath. Zero in. Aim and fire. What's up guys? So we've gone over all the different shooting positions. Now we're moving on to something more fun, bipods. Uh, before we get down in the dirt and get out to the range, let's go over some of the hardware, some of the things you might need to install that onto your rifle. Now we'll get started with, first off, you've got your Pictini bipods. You know, usually they slide around any type of rail on most of your black rifles. If you have Pictini rails already installed on your rifle, easy to take off, easy to put back on. Cost is low 40, up to 180. And if your rifle doesn't have a rail, there's the Harris style bipods. All you do is slide that right up to where that nice screw is. It's tapped in for your sling swivel. It should fit right down and in. Make sure that you have the feet for your, your bipod facing the front, pointing forward, just like that. All right, continue back to installing that bad boy. So it just slides on right there. Then you go ahead and you want to tighten that bad boy up. And the good thing is, you can still hook your sling right to it. Bam. All ready and set to go. Got everything all, all happy and whatnot. Gives you a freedom boner. There's other bipods you can use. The barrel clamp. And there's the modular ones Magpul makes. All right. So shooting prone with a bipod is completely different. First off, you don't have to have your arm on the fore end. You can actually tuck it down here and support more brace as you push, push your stock into your shoulder while you're down on the ground. Now the recommended height for your bipod, you're gonna to wanna to extend anywhere from about six inches to nine inches. Great position as far as having to lay down. It's great having that extra support when you have the bipod on there. 
the only downer is shooting uphill can be kind of an issue. Uh, you don't have so many options and you can't turn your gun as many degrees higher as you need to. Um, but these are just some things to work around, think about. Of course, you know, when you're on a range, it's usually a flat area. So we covered the ideal heights for shooting with a bipod while you're in the prone position. And some other ideal heights for a bipod while sitting and shooting. Um, five to six inches would be a good height for most shooters. Six to ten inches may work well at the range. However, in the, sh in the field, it may be a little bit too short. Uh, 12 to 27 inches is good for while sitting down, but it might also be too tall for laying down. 9 to 16 inches is good for shooting from sitting and kneeling positions. Uh, if you have the extra long leg attachments, you can get as high as 30 inches off the ground. However, visibility is out there. You're putting yourself there. So these are just some things to think about. Some bipods have length adjustments that can even be useful for uneven surfaces. Thick jackets, high angles, down low, up high, etc. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.